Hey guys, Trev here back in the garage with the Model 3. Now today I'm heading off to work and that's not very exciting, but what is great about it is there's this nice long side road that's uh, very, very infrequently used by other cars. And today I wanna use it as a little bit of a testing ground. Now on the highway, I use autopilot and auto steering all the time. Not too much in the city, but on the highway, yes. Now, of course, it gives you these constant reminders, these nanny reminders to put your hands on the wheel and, and to keep torquing and all that, even while it's steering. Now, this is because of current regulation and everything like that. But I was curious, what happens if we uh, totally ignore those warnings and just let it keep driving? Will it just shut off? What will it exactly do? I've been curious, and I'm sure a few of you are out there as well. So we're gonna do it in a safe way today and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. This is our very, uh, quiet road here we're gonna hit in a second right after this intersection and it's very rarely used so this should be a great spot for us to test this out okay now we'll go on to uh, self-drive here hands are off the wheel and we're set for 60 kilometers per hour as you can see there and no warnings yet oh here we go yeah hands on the steering wheel Wow, that was fast. So it's already giving us the flash. And faster. That's the most I've seen so far on the highway. Okay, hey, red hands on the wheel. Still ignoring it. Oh, I do have a couple cars. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, hard brakes. Wow, so not only did it, did it hit the brakes hard and bring us to a complete stop, but it throws the hazard lights on as well. Wow, that is wicked. And I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but it's basically saying here, hold steering wheel to drive manually, auto steer unavailable for the rest of the drive. Okay, and as I touch the brake there, uh, yeah, it, sh it all shut off. Okay, so I'm just pulled over on this side road here, and wow, I did not expect it to uh, hit the brakes. I figured that it wouldn't obviously stop driving because then if somebody fell asleep, it wouldn't like just veer them off the road and say, too bad, you were warned. Uh, it seems to uh, take control to the point where it gets you to a safe stop. It doesn't like pull you off to the side of the road or anything like that. That'd probably be too complicated at this point, but it does bring you to a stop and warn other drivers and keep warning other drivers just in case you fall asleep. Now there's nothing else that I noticed uh, besides the auditory warnings and obviously the hazard lights on and all the bongings and everything like that that you guys heard. But very cool system there. That if you did fall asleep on the highway, it would be able to bring you to a safe, complete stop. And that is uh, pretty ingenious of them so far. And I'm sure as regulation keeps growing, uh, this will constantly keep changing, but that's where it's at for now.